Okay, so just for the viewers outside, mm -hmm. <laughs> whoever they may be, thousands of millions of we're stars in our own right. <laughs> what um, have you had any thoughts? Let me just give a brief intro. This is Jo's last training session before um, her driving test tomorrow. Yeah. And you've been on a fairly intensive course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many hours have you done? Must be over 40, yeah, something, 40. yeah, and that was since a week ago last Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, the culmination is that Joe's got her test tomorrow, and Joe did feel really, really scared about the thought of even driving. Um, and now we've done a mock test route, and apart from one little thing which we talked about, um, I felt really happy with what you did actually. Okay. And you've had a day off yesterday. Yes, so I might be reading so back to square one today. Do you think? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully okay. not. Being as this is our last training session, what mm -hmm. would you like to to do? Um, I think two things if you can fit them in. Right. Um, I think if I was tested on it, I'd be fine on emergency stop, turning in the road, and parallel parking. My day parking is still the bane of my life. Is it? And okay. also reversing around a corner, I'd like to just have one or two more goes at. Okay. I'd also um, like to maybe do another test route in Jupiter or just have a drive around Jupiter at some of the regular things that they ask you to do, perhaps. We could okay. Do Shall we, like which w if we start off with a manoeuvre, yeah. which one would you like to? Reversing around a corner is, I think, okay. the one that. Okie doke, so we'll head off to Chai mm -hmm. and we'll I'll direct you to a suitable corner. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Any questions yeah. before we start? No. No? Okay. You know how to work the wifi, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I must be already on I, I put the one up when you were in the car. Okay, so that's on all the tests. So that'll be that's okay. That's on there. Yeah. Okay. Look at that cat with the postman. <laughs> Says I'll get there. not see him? No. Okay, did you check your shoulder? Yeah, okay. I honestly didn't see him. Right. So, do you think perhaps if you'd have checked your mirrors a bit longer and then just checked over your shoulder, did you just check your shoulder before you moved off or did you look in the mirrors? I looked in the mirrors, I looked in this one, I didn't look in Right, that okay. One. Lesson learned? I looked in my centre and put my blind spot back in too. Right, okay. The other one. Does that make sense now? Yeah. I'm kind of glad that happened. Yeah. That's never happened before. No. Ever. No. Do you feel a bit more nervous today? I do because I've had a day off, I think. Right, okay. Left or right? Turning right. Oh, that, that's a really classic example of why it's important to check both mirrors. Because yeah. that right mirror will give you a nice wide view of yeah. what's coming on. And the blind spot check is just literally to check that there's no one in your blind spot. Cyclists should check it off. Cyclists, yep. Yeah and then right at the end of the road, and then you'll know where you are. So how do you think you're going to try and make yourself relax tomorrow? Well, you said I have to, and I believe you're going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that always helps. Um, I'll scrub that bit then off the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but you bought some pastels, haven't you? Yes, I bought some rescue pastels, remedies. Some rescue remedies. So that might help. try and not think of it like it's my test, I'm going to just try and think of it like I'm driving with another person. Fine. I don't know if that's going to work, I mean it's all we'll see, words won't we? now, isn't it? Yeah, but, um, we'll see. And have you had any th further thoughts about sort of imagining yourself driving without me? Um, you know, as in, I, on your own? I'm not scared to do it anymore. Cool. You know, before I said oh, that's that I, nice. was, I was really scared to drive without you, with your voice in my head, you yeah. know, next to me telling me. Yeah. To do things. Yeah. Um, but I'm not scared of that anymore. Brilliant. Which I think is a good step That's an forward. improvement, isn't it? I'm trying to cut the ends of string together. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. And I'm going to break this slower than I normally do. Good. And I'm going to go down to second. Okay. And where are you looking? 
that gives you so much time to actually think about what you're doing. Yeah. I don't think you could, to be honest, Joe. I, I would have been rushing it. Which yeah, is why so I you don't do want to rush it. No. I wouldn't have taken that gap. You would have taken that one. Okay. Probably not. No, I don't think it's. <laughs> I don't. If they're not signalling, where they're, are they going? They're going straight on. Yeah. yeah. If they're not in the left lane, I I don't think it's worth risking anything on the test. Yeah. You know, because you are going to be under pressure. So there's no point putting yourself under further pressure by pulling out in a rush when you think, oh my gosh, do you think I've failed? Or you know, did I do that okay? Did I make him slow down? It's not worth taking that risk. Yeah. I don't think. Because I think if I get in a panic with my brain, I'll forget to do something. I'll forget exactly. to turn my indicator off or something yeah. like that. And I don't want to. Let's just hope no one throws themselves in front of one car. Yeah, well if they do, you know how to do the emergency stop. <laughs> you can do stop. the emergency stop, yeah. so it's fine. And if you run over them, you can tell them it wasn't your fault. Yeah. You shouldn't have thrown yourself in front of my car. <laughs> And we're going to take a little bit, take more time with your gear change as well. Okay. That's just reflecting what your brain's thinking. I'm in a rush. Yeah. Typical girl. Always in a rush. Always in a rush. Always think I'm driving too slowly. Always like driving at the speed limit. Yep. And we're not bothered about people behind. Trying not to be. Trying not Trying to not be. Trying not to be yeah. bothered about people behind me, shaking their fists at me. <laughs> They're not in actual fact. As I say, they would do it if I was driving. Is it this morning, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? 11.24. What do you need to check first? Damn it. Let's shut the window. Keep the rain out. You've not been in this situation on such a busy road before, have you? No. I like the way you've glanced into the road, though. Don't go any further forward, otherwise you will not make that turn. So just find the bike and put off the brake. Excellent. Not run her over. That's it. So look, if you have a look at this road, what's that sign telling you? Um, Horse riders, horse yeah. Horse riders. So this is the sort of road that you don't like. Which is why I bought you down. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't like the country roads. No. Do you remember what we talked about them? What we said about country roads? Um, if there's nothing coming towards you, yeah. don't be afraid of going Using in the middle if there's 
that's it, you use the best part of the road. What don't country roads have that most town roads have? Urban roads. Um, the yeah. markings on the side of the road. Yeah, and they don't have the curb. Yeah. And you can see here we're in quite a narrow, yeah. it's probably a, a sort of single lane with passing places almost, isn't yeah. it? That's it. And so if this greenery wasn't so high, we could be looking above the hedges. Yeah to um, look for high vehicles that you can judge. And you can see some of these potholes have been filled in. There's a lot of them, isn't there? Yeah, there is. So just take your time. I know you've not been down here before, so just go at a speed you feel comfortable with. And do you remember what we talked about, the limit point? Yep. Yeah. Looking at the furthest point That's I can it. see in the road. That house, I love this house. <laughs> Reminds me what you think. I think it should be in Scotland. Yeah, it looks like a little kind of... Um, it does. What do you call it? A croft yeah, a croft or something? Yeah. yeah, and I love those hedges. What a lovely view they must have. Wheel down yeah. Oh, oh, so you you live there, do you? <laughs> so if we look along the line, it's hard to tell where the road goes here. Oh, yeah. Where is it going now, Jo? Going, yeah, going off to the left. So is that limit point stationary or is it moving? Stationary. Okay, so we should be easing off a little bit. Now it's moving, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. I'm so only going you 20 down here, is that okay? That's fine. Quicker, yeah, no, that's fine for now, seeing as it's your first time. I don't want you to, at this point, to go too fast, because you'll just wreck your brain, won't yeah. you? And again, if you come over to the left a bit, you'll get more of an oncoming view. So use the whole road, that's nice. A little bit more over to the left. Have a look in your left mirror. That's it. That's it. So far, so good. <laughs> Only because there's been no upcoming traffic. Okay, so that's the, that's a very good point. That's something your brain can be thinking. And again, yeah. just come over to the left and you see how the road opens up a yeah. little bit more. And that's a lovely speed. So if there was a bunch of horses around this corner, you, you could stop, couldn't you? Yeah. Okay. So... If you did have a big, say like a van coming towards you, yeah. your options are? Um, slow right down. Yeah, and maybe even stop. Okay. Yeah, no harm for you, for you to stop. That way, you know, at least he'll be able to judge your gap better. So that's something as you drive along this sort of road is, where would I stop if I had an oncoming? Yeah. And that often makes, if you start thinking about it, Especially this is a valid control. place where you could actually use your horn, so try it, to warn oncoming traffic. That's it. So if anyone was coming towards you, I don't oh, know about yeah. you, I personally wouldn't want to meet another car on top of no. that bridge, it's quite narrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially if the oncoming traffic was going fairly quickly. Yeah, exactly. So when we get to the T-junction, get you to turn left. Can you see the warning sign? Mm -hmm. you do? Two warning signs. <laughs> if that doesn't have give way written on it? It means give way because it's oh, an upside down way. triangle. Yeah. Okay, it's the only one, the only sign that is an up down, upside down triangle so you can acknowledge it. Okay. So have a little look to your right. Any questions about that? No. Okay. It's so difficult when you can't see when yeah. you're on a country road like that and you can't see. But if you yeah, think of it as you sign. if you were walking along there yeah. or cycling, you would do exactly the same, wouldn't you? Yeah. If you're not sure of what's going on ahead, you slow down. Yeah? Yeah. And if there's a big lorry that comes towards you, you might just pull up and say, right, you go first. <laughs> this is where Duncan Goodhue grew up, apparently. Really? Hmm. I didn't know he was from around here. Yeah, apparently. I'm sure I heard that. Nice. I could be totally wrong. Is it me or is the carriageway on here quite narrow? It is narrow. I don't know why it was obviously it's narrow as well. <laughs> <laughs> but it just suddenly went... It is narrow. Narrow? Yep, it is. It's a little country lane, basically, going through a little village. Nice little village. Going through Oving. Or some people call it Ubing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just know it as Ubing, so I suppose it is. 
and this is where the gribbling is. Oh, I reckon I saw the other we'll plug for the gribbling. Yeah. Yep. So we'll come out the other side of the train. Yep. The train crossing. And it's thanking you for driving carefully. Using its national seatbelt. Yeah. Well spotted. So before you speed up, what do you need to do? Nice, nice, nice. Why is it important to check those mirrors before you change speed? straight from fourth into one. Yeah, because I knew I was going to stop. Yeah, um, well done. Go on, put it on. <laughs> you were right to do that. Follow your instinct, child. Nice little start. So if you'd have slipped back then, that would have scared your brain, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then you would have been thinking, oh, God, I'm slipping I'm back. I'm slipping back. Even though there was no one behind you, it's still not nice to do. I don't think I used my handbrake enough. There I are think situations where I haven't used it and I could have done. Yeah, I think you're probably right. And I think there's a lot of pupils out there that for some reason they don't like using it. I think it's because I'm very aware that I've got to keep going. You don't have to so keep going, Joe. So when I put my handbrake on... You don't have to keep... I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I should You really tried. don't have to keep going. <laughs> you can just, you know, it's sure. your own pace, yeah. yeah. It's daft to let other people affect you. You don't do it at work, do you? No. No. Then we could go left at the T junction. Okay. So you can practice going straight from third to first. All you need to do is just judge when to come off the gas. You're checking this left mirror like it's your best friend now. That's good. And if you go clutch to bite, not all the way, so put your clutch foot down just to bite. That's it. And now all the way down and into first gear. And use your brakes as well to slow the car down. That's lovely, Joe. So by putting the clutch down to bite point, mm. what we're doing is stopping that horrible wobble yeah. that I'm going to stall. Yeah. But you're not actually coasting. But you don't want to do it too far away from the junction. Otherwise, you know, it's not a good thing because you yeah. are sort of coasting. But you're not really. Can you see it now? Are you at the white line? So good. So far, so good. So far, so good. <laughs> we'll see if we can see any more men with their heads in the bushes. <laughs> that was fun. You might just plant one for <laughs> Yes. With speed limit sign, yeah. should I be at the speed limit when I get to 30? Or in an ideal world, yes. Should be, should I? If you're a couple of miles over and you're decelerating, that should be okay. What we don't want you to do, if we can, if you don't need to, is brake hard it means you're not planning so you want to learn yeah. to when to come off the gas okay so at the we need to go to um Royal Road okay. do you know how to get there no. okay so if we follow the road ahead okay. try that clutch to bite and now more braking so braking early that's it we'll work on we haven't got any more time to work on. Yes, we have. We've got these this session today. We've got another session tomorrow morning. 
yep. for your test. So, so use your. That's it. And hands on the steering wheel because if someone went into the back of me, I could steer left. Yeah, into that car park. That'd that be wall? very handy. Wouldn't <laughs> it? I'd rather steer into the wall than into a car. That's true. But again, it's one of those decisions that your brain thinks. In, if it did happen, you haven't got enough time almost to think. Do you remember the sequence of these traffic lights? I think they're next, aren't they? The oncoming will go before you. The oncoming will yeah, go before you. Yeah, so once they go, have they gone? Oh, lovely hat. <laughs> Mine's, you think, I think it should be in Scotland. Yeah, it looks like a little kind of... It does. Scottish what do you call it? A cross, yeah, a cross or something. Cross yeah. yeah, and I love those hedges. What lovely view they With must have. You Thank live there, you. do you? <laughs> so if we look along the line, it's hard to tell where the road goes here. Oh, yeah. Where is it going now, Jan? Going, yeah, off, to going off to the left. So is that limit point stationary or is it moving? Stationary at the moment. Okay, so we should be easing off a little bit. Now it's moving, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's it. I'm only so going now 20 you can, down here, is that okay? That's that fine. Quicker, yeah, no, that's fine for now, being as it's your first time. I don't want you to, at this point, to go too fast because you'll just wreck your brain, won't yeah. you? And again, if you come over to the left a bit, you'll get more of an oncoming view. So use the whole road, that's right. A little bit more over to the left. Have a look in your left mirror. That's it. That's it. So far, so good. Only because there's been no oncoming traffic. Okay, so that's, the, that's a very good point. That's something your brain can be thinking. And again, yeah. just come over to the left and you see how the road opens up a yeah. little bit more. And that's a lovely speed. So if there was a bunch of horses around this corner, you you could stop, couldn't you? Yeah. Okay. So if you did have a big, say like a van coming towards you, yeah. your options are? Um, slow right down. Yeah. And maybe even stop. Yeah, no harm for you for you to stop. That way, you know, at least he'll be able to judge your gap better. Yeah. There you go. That was nice. So that's something as you drive along this sort of road is where would I stop if I had an oncoming? Yeah. And that often makes if you start thinking about it. Especially this is a valid control. place where you could actually use your horn, but try it to warn oncoming traffic. Yeah. It. So if anyone was coming towards you, I oh, don't know about okay. you, I personally wouldn't want to meet another car on top of no. that bridge. It's quite narrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially if the oncoming traffic was going fairly quickly. Yeah, exactly. So when we get to the T-junction, I'll get you to turn left. Can you see the warning sign? Good. Two warning signs. In fact, it doesn't have give way written on it. It means give way because it's oh, an upside down me. triangle. Yeah. Okay, it's the only one, the only sign that's an up down, upside down triangle so you can acknowledge it. We're good. That's it. Have a little look to your right. Any questions about that? No. Okay. It's so difficult when you can't see, when yeah. you're on a country road like that and you can't but see. But if you think of it as you, sign. if you were walking along there, yeah. or cycling, you would do exactly the same, wouldn't you? Yeah. If you're not sure of what's going on ahead, you slow down. Yeah? Yeah. And if there's a big lorry that comes towards you, you might just pull up and say, right, you go first. Why you went in there? I was I wasn't really acknowledging my left hand side. 
Right, okay. Because I'm quite scared, still scared to take my eyes off the road. Right, okay. Um, what we'll do, Jo, we'll try a different way in to try this time, just to challenge you a little bit more, to give you a bit more variety. Variety. So that's the mud on the road. That could be a bit... Um, it gets wet there, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know the Mercedes garage on the right up here? I don't know. Okay, so just past the Mercedes garage, there's a junction on the right, and I want you to turn right. Okay. So how often are you going to check the left mirror? Once every 10 seconds or so? I was so? thinking every 10 seconds. Yeah, just as a rough guide. More if you need to. It's a, it's a national along. Oh, I thought it was 40. It was 40, but then it went then international. It went to yeah. Try and relax those shoulders. That's it. So you can see the Mercedes garage yeah. coming up. We're not going to go into the driveway, but there you've got the warning sign of saying there's a junction. So, so I need to you want to go after the garage? Yeah. So it's not this junction. Oh, sorry. That I takes you in the garage, but it's right. the next one. So you want to signal. That's it. And you've got a little turning box to go into. And you want to make sure you stay in this box and don't come out on the left either. So that traffic can get past you. See how you've come over a little bit more this side? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. You've not been in this situation on such a busy road before, have you? No. I like the way you've glanced into the road, though. Don't go any further forward, otherwise you will not make that turn. So just find the bike and put off your brake. That's it. Not run her over. That's it. So look, if you have a look at this road, what's that sign telling you? Um, horse horse riders, horse yeah. Riders. So this is the sort of road that you don't like, which is why I bought you don't. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't like the country roads. No. Do you remember what we talked about them? What we said about country roads? Um, if there's nothing coming towards you, yeah. don't be afraid of going the, in the middle if there's... That's it. Use the best part of the road. What don't country roads have that most town roads have? Urban roads. Um, the yeah. markings on the side of the road. Yeah, and they don't have the kerb. Yeah. And you can see here we're in quite a narrow... Yeah. It's probably a, a sort of single lane with passing places almost, isn't yeah. it? And so if this greenery wasn't so high, we could be looking above the hedges yeah. to um, look for high vehicles that you can judge. And you can see some of these potholes have been filled in. There's a lot of them, isn't there? Yeah, there is. So just take your time. I know you've not been down here before, so just go at a speed that you feel comfortable with. And do you remember what we talked about, the limit point? Yeah. Yeah. Looking at the furthest point That's I can it. see in the road. That has. Cyclists to the next road. Cyclists, yeah. And then right at the end of the road, and then you'll know where you are. So, how do you think you're going to try and make yourself relax tomorrow? Well, you said I have to imagine you've done your makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that always helps. Um, I'll scrub that bit then off the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but you bought some pastels, haven't you? Yes, I bought some rescue pastels, remedies. Rescue remedies. So that might help. I'm going to try and not think of it like it's my test. I'm going to just try and think of it like I'm driving with another person. Fine. I don't know if that's going to work. I mean, it's all we'll see, words won't we? now, isn't it? Yeah, but, we'll um, see. And have you had any th further thoughts about sort of imagining yourself driving without me? Um, you know, as in I, on your own? I'm not scared to do it anymore. Cool. You know, before I said oh, that's that I, nice. was, I was really scared to drive without you with your voice in my head going yeah. next to me telling me yeah. to do things. Yeah. Um, but I'm not scared of that anymore. Brilliant. Which I think is a good That's step an forward. improvement, isn't it? I'm trying to cut the open street down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. And I'm going to break this slower than I normally do. Good. And I'm going to go down to second. Okay. gives you so much time to 
actually think about what you're doing. Yeah. I don't think you could, to be honest, Joe. I, I would have been rushing it. Which is yeah. Why so I you don't want to rush it. No. I wouldn't have taken that gap. You would have taken that one. Okay. Probably not. Nobody I don't think it's. <laughs> I don't. If they're not signalling, where they're, are they going? They're going straight on. Yeah. yeah. If they're not in the left lane. I, I don't think it's worth risking anything on the test, yeah. you know, because you are going to be under pressure. So there's no point putting yourself under further pressure by pulling out in a rush when you think, oh my gosh, do you think I've failed? Or, you know, did yeah. I do that okay? Did I make him slow down? It's not worth taking that risk. Yeah. I don't think. Because I think if I get in a panic with my brain, I'll forget to do something. I'll exactly. forget to turn my indicator off or something. Yeah. take a little bit take more time with your gear change as well okay. that's just reflecting what your brain's thinking I'm in a rush yeah. typical girl always in a rush always in a rush always think I'm driving too slowly if I'm driving at the speed limit yep and they're not bothered about people behind trying not to be trying not, trying to, not be. to be yeah. bothered about people behind me shaking their fists at me <laughs> they're not in actual fact as I say they would do it if I was driving <laughs> but it just suddenly went. It is narrow. narrow. Yep, it is. It's a little country lane, basically, going through a little village. Nice going through Oving, or some people call it Oving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just know it as the Oving. And this is where the Gribbelin is. Oh, I recognise all the other. We'll plug for the Gribbelin. Yeah. Yep, so we'll come out the other side of the train. Yep. The train crossing. And it's thanking you for driving carefully. So before you speed up, what do you need to do? That's nice. Why is it important to check those mirrors before you change speed? See who's behind me. Um, Any other reasons? Me. What might happen if you see the national put your foot down and there's a guy trying to overtake you? Yeah. Could be catastrophic, couldn't it? Yeah. Because even though you know he's responsible for his own driving. There was an oncoming, it could be a nasty accident. Right. So at the end of the road at the T junction, if we could turn right, and you can see if you look and see the van, he's going you can see all along that road if they're hive vehicles. Okay. There's an early warning. You see that car going through there. stop what do you need first gear does that make sense yeah. do you remember that you go straight from fourth into one yeah because i knew i was going to stop yeah um, well done go on put it on <laughs> you were right to do that follow your instinct Joe. nice little start see if you'd have slipped back then that would have scared your brain wouldn't it yeah and then you would have been thinking, oh God, I'm slipping I'm back. back. Even though there was no one behind you, it's still not nice to be. I don't think I use my handbrake enough. I think I there think are situations where I haven't used it and I could have done. Yeah, I think you're probably right. And I think there's a lot of pupils out there that for some reason, they don't like using it. I think Do it's because I'm very aware that I've got to keep going. You don't have to so keep when going, I Jo. I put my handbrake on. You don't have to keep going. I know. <laughs> but I you really tried. don't have to keep going. You can just, you know, it's your own pace, yeah. yeah. It's just daft to let other people affect you. You don't do it at work, do you? No. No, no you don't. Then we could go left at the T-junction. Okay. So you can 
practice going straight from third to first. All you need to do is just judge when to come off the gas. You're checking this left mirror like it's your best friend now. That's good. And if you go clutch to bite, not all the way, so put your clutch foot down just to bite. That's it. And now all the way down and into first gear. And use your brakes as well to slow the car down. That's lovely, Joe. So by putting the clutch down to bite point, mm. what we're doing is stopping that horrible wobble yeah. that I'm going to stall. Yeah. But you're not actually coasting. But you don't want to do it too far away from the junction. Otherwise, you know, it's not a good thing because you yeah. are sort of coasting. But you're not really. Can you see enough? Are you at the white line? Okay, so just for the viewers outside, mm -hmm. <laughs> whoever they may be, thousands of millions of we're stars in our own right, <laughs> what, um, have you had any thoughts? Let me just give a brief intro. This is Jo's last training session before um, her driving test tomorrow. Yep. And you've been on a fairly intensive course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how many hours have you done? It's must be over 40? yeah it's something 40. yeah and that was since a week ago last Saturday mm -hmm. so the culmination is that Joe's got her test tomorrow and Joe did feel really really scared about the thought of even driving um, and now we've done a mock test route and apart from one little thing which we talked about um, I felt really happy with what you did actually. Yeah. And you've had a day off yesterday. Yes, so I might be reading. So back to square one today. Do you think? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully okay. not. Being as this is our last training session, what mm -hmm. would you like to to do? Um, I think two things if we can fit them in. Right. Um, I think if I was tested on it, I'd be fine on emergency stop, turning in the road, and parallel parking my base parking is still the bane of my life is it and okay. also reversing around a corner i'd like to just have one or two more goes at okay i'd also um like to maybe do another test route which you prefer or just have a drive around trip to do it some of the regular things that they ask you to do perhaps we could okay do shall we like which w if we start off with a maneuver yeah. which one would you like to reversing around a corner is i think okay. the one that Okie doke, so we'll head off to Chai mm -hmm. and we'll I'll direct you to a suitable corner. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Any okay. questions before we start? No. No? Okay. You know how to work the wipers, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I must be them, already on I, I put them one up when you were in the car. Okay, so that's on all the tests. So that'll be that's okay. Right. that right mirror will give you a nice wide view of yeah. what's coming on and the blind spot check is just literally to check that there's no one in your blind spot 